Loading. Welcome to Access the Animus. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on Access the Animus. Today we're going to share with you a new hidden secret that can be found in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As a matter of fact, thanks to a very welcome heads up by a friend, we were able to find the unmarked location showcasing the tomb of Magister Vitus, the hidden one that oversaw the evacuation of the Brotherhood from England during the 5th century AD. Vitus is mentioned a few times throughout the game, both in the documents that can be found in the Roman Hidden Ones bureaus and also in the description of the various pieces of the Magister Gear set, which in lore actually belong to him. In the video we'll have a look at his story and we'll show you how to figure out where to find his tomb, which is untracked on the map, and also how to decode a final message that can be found close to his remains. Thus, get ready to jump in some Assassin slash Hidden Ones lore and let's try and find where Magister Vitus is located. Let's start with the basics here. Vitus was a hidden one holding the rank of Magister, which means Master in Latin, that lived in England or more specifically the Britannia region of the Roman Empire in the 5th century AD. As mentioned earlier, he is cited a few times in the game, primarily because he was one of the leaders of the Hidden Ones in England and especially because he ordered and oversaw the evacuation of the Brotherhood from the island in the 5th century. We get to know about Vitus firstly through the Magister set, a gear set that you can find in the game in the Oxenafor Shire and East Anglia regions and that is supposed to have belonged to the man himself. Interestingly enough, the description of each piece of the set mentions that the fate of Vitus himself was still a mystery. It still is now to a degree, but by the end of the video we'll know a bit more. Another relevant source of information dedicated to Vitus is made up of a few documents that can be found in the Roman Hidden Ones bureaus signed off by him. The first one we had already seen during the marketing campaign and is now placed both in the Essex and Leicester bureaus, along with a shorter version also placed in the London bureau. In it, Vitus is sending communications to the various hidden ones in England that with the death of Emperor Flavius Honorius and the retreat of the Roman Empire from the island, the hope for stability was lost, and sadly the local tribes and clans were not favoring the Brotherhood as they hoped for. This in turn forced Vitus to call for an evacuation of every member of the local hidden ones and a retreat to the Hidden Ones Bureau in Cologne, Germany. Interestingly enough, there was at least another Magister who opposed Vitus's decision. Named Maya, she believed Vitus's orders to be premature and cowardly. In a document that is very much a tribute to the founders of the AC Sisterhood movement, our friends Sebastian and Culprit, Maya states that the retreat of the Roman Empire should be considered a boon, as it also coincided with a lot of efforts by the Brotherhood finally bearing fruit. Eventually, as seen in the final page of Vitus's journal in the London Bureau, the order was carried out anyway, as Vitus reflected that, while the work of the Hidden Ones had been hindered by forces outside of their control, the Brotherhood itself and their leaders were also to blame for its self-imposed exile. As a matter of fact, Vitus says it started as scratching at the pillars of the Empire, toppling one or two when the foundation seemed too strong, and that is fully reflected by the various assassination contracts that can be found in the Roman Hidden Ones bureaus, most of which were successfully carried out and that dealt with prominent figures in the Roman Empire in the centuries leading up to the retreat of the Empire itself. Alas, removing too many pillars, using Vitus's analogy, actually led to the building, the empire itself, to topple to the ground. Vitus regrets pursuing such an outright approach to liberty and indirectly leading this branch of the Brotherhood towards it, because it did help freeing Britannia from its oppressors, but in turn forced the Hidden Ones to be wiped out from it as well. So, this is what we know about Vitus. We know he oversaw the evacuation of the Brotherhood, that the final entry in his journal was left in London, and that his Hidden Ones robes could still be found in England by the 9th century AD, but we still haven't properly found him. 
In order to do that, we actually have to go to the southern coast of Kent, and more specifically to two towers that can be found in the Dover Faros and Dover Fortress locations. Once you reach the Dover Faros, you need to climb it to the top and you will find a sort of a pictorial inscription, showcasing a triangle and the Roman number 1 in its lower left vertex. Moving on, you'll need to reach the Dover Fortress and locate a similar tower to that of the Dover Faros and of course climb that too. At its top you will find a different pictorial inscription that showcases a similar triangle but with the Roman number 2 close to its lower right vertex. The cryptic hint here means that you need to consider Dover Ferrus and Dover Fortress as the first and the second vertexes of a triangle, where the third vertex is where you need to go, hence why the location of Vitus's remains is unmarked. Upon reaching the location you will find a covered well, break its cover and have the second layer explode with an explosive arrow and you will be able to get at the bottom of the well. Here, at last, you will find Vitus's tomb, along with his remains, a Roman number 3 on the background confirming it's the right location, and especially a hidden one shaped insignia at the base of his tomb. How do we know that's Vitus though? Well, we haven't discovered and deciphered the last secret. Yes, deciphered. As a matter of fact, on the far side of the tomb you can find a final note that is encoded. It took us quite some time to crack it, but we also managed to do that. In front of us we have a Cytel cipher that can be decoded by reading a letter every other two letters. So in this case we can see M, A, N, D, V and so on. Doing this for all the letters of the cipher text or using a handy online decoder brings to the final message. Manducamus libenter illos qui nos dominant, at mea maxima culpa. Vitus, which translated from Latin means, we gladly bite those who would like to dominate us, but I failed. Vitus. Thus, with this final message we get to know this was actually Vitus's tomb and that he admitted his failure and regretted his actions up until the end of his life. A sad conclusion for an ancient master assassin. And that was it for today's video, did you know about the existence of Vitus's tomb and what do you think about his story? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to turn the notifications on so you don't miss any of our future updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.